We're broadcasting from the Concrete Jungle Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. Know what's beautiful about this city, Bricks? I don't know, Brim. Tell me. I don't know either. That's, that's why I was asking you guys. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Cincinnati Bengals. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and 10. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and 10. What is this, Andy's wrestling? Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get... And he's got a chance for... Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> First and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps outside, trying to... And the whistle blows the play dead, along with the quarterback. First and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs> Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Ooh, that 
that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. And that'll bring up third and one. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and five. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Third down and nine. the ball to the player behind him. Boom! And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Apparently the punter for the day is being played by my kid. They let the punt drop and it will be downed by the defense. And it's first and ten. That run is good for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk! Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Dad, tell him! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He 
works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. He had it for a second there. Second down and 10. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Third and two. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Third and two. and the defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and one. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. 
And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage with a vodka chain. It's a touchdown! And he takes a break from conquering and vaporizing other civilizations to score six points. He's such a driven player. You gotta give him credit. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Call man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Bring it back now. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half and save it for later. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. <laughs> The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and 
kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move here. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. That's how you run the football. First down. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. <laughs> <laughs> and it's first and ten. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am he caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. And he just wrestles away from that tack. Boom! And it's first and ten. There aren't too many... Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's Matt Stutzing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip tea show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. See, Just pet your rabbit. You didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First down to keep the drive alive.
And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and nine. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and nine. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this act, man. And it's first and ten. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and two. Oh, man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. and stumbling he could go all the way <laughs> okay nice and easy like a two foot putt you miss two foot putts all the time Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. It's a catch for a 10-yard gain. Third down and the punter is warming up. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. It's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down! First and ten. That's 
a way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Third down and eight. And he snags it for six. No. Touchdown! Touchdown! They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. Third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnets. You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, I got a dollar for the bathroom attendant. He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And that'll be second and eight to go. You can't oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Heard footsteps. 
Simpson took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and 10. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and 10. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and 10. And they are schooling the defense right now. First down and one. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Back in 2017, they started implementing extreme alien betting. You can see how well it all worked out. And it was just trying to make America great again, man. Now that's fake news. It's been proven. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. <laughs> Second down and long. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Shoveled his feet so well on that play, he should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! <laughs> and it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be. It looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I loved it, Mike. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond It's 
first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The QB looks angry at his offensive line and I can't blame him. Third down and never gonna happen. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a bomb named Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. Nicely done for a first down. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, 
Are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. You know? Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. In a hurry-up offense, there's no huddle, so neither team can put the players on the bench. He is fighting for every yard. It's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. The Simpson Nasty Mangles get mangled today in a devastating home loss. They battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any hawk butts involved. I kind of like butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad slipping. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.